If you have a quest free, I would like you to try this and let me know your experience in the comments down below. In the latest version of Virtual Desktop, published not so long ago, the synchronous space warp feature received some really nice improvements. Now, I am someone who was always really, really against motion reprojection. The artifacts and the jittery image was far from perfect, but trying it with the latest version of Virtual Desktop really, really surprised me. This is looking smooth and really decent. Because we all know that tweaking the settings for VR is a painstaking journey, especially if you want to run it on the somewhat heavier multiplayer servers. And that always kept me away from really putting time into DCS VR and, you know, rather wanting to dive into other, a bit more optimized games for VR. But here is the solution. So start virtual desktop on your PC. I use the AV1 10-bit Quest 3 as the preferred codec and VDXR as the OpenXR runtime. This is very important. We don't want DCS to run via Steam VR. Now put on your headset and once your headset is connected with your PC uh, via virtual desktop, these are my settings. So for the VR graphics quality, uh, I have ultra, but try it on high first. VR frame weight, now this can either be 80, which is then halved to 40 FPS or 90, which is halved to 45 FPS. Yes, I know this sounds low, but trust me, it ain't that bad. VR bitrate, I have to put, oh, I have put mine to 200, but start maybe at around 130 and work your way up. Sharpening at 34% and then on the right side over here, synchronous space warp, put it to always enabled. This can be disabled and enabled even in game without having to restart your game. And uh, with the advanced options over here, I have the Snapdragon game super resolution enabled for the Quest 3. Now, go into DCS in VR, of course, with the multi-threading version and hop into a multiplayer server you like. Now, first off, once you are on the ground and in your plane, open the virtual desktop settings from within the game and disable synchronous space warp. Now go back into the game and make sure that in DCS you get an FPS of at least 50. When I have set it to 80 FPS or Hertz, I want to get 50 at least. But in general, you just want to get around 50 to 55 FPS, 60 perhaps even. Now, when you have achieved that, Go back into your virtual desktop settings and then enable synchronous space warp. And while in the past this was always very jittery and gave me kind of a double vision, now it runs so, so, so much smoother. Sure, not perfect, but I have tried playing on the World War II server with 60 players and it was absolutely fine and very smooth. Even spotting was going uh, what's going amazing I have to say now I would even suggest playing this way when your game is fluctuating between 60 and 72 FPS all the time as This is just much much more stable Especially if you beyond visual range and you just have to kind of look at what the you know the cockpit indicators Man this this works. This really works. Of course if you want to have absolutely great clarity then we have the sponsor for today. If you struggle to read indicators or normally wear glasses, but you know, not in VR, I highly recommend trying out the latest prescription lenses from vrwave.store. They prevent damage to the VR lenses because you don't have to wear glasses, which I was always worried about, and it will reduce eye strain with a blue light filter. So I don't want to sound like a billboard, but I really wish I had done this sooner. So if you're interested, visit vrwave.store. Now, the synchronous space warp feature works really well for me and is even my preferred way to play in a heavy multiplayer server right now because I don't really need to worry about dips in uh, frames 
and the image is very smooth and sharp. Now, this works for me. I don't know if it works for you. That's why I really want you to try this. And just let me know in the comments down below whether this works for you, the yes or the no. And of course, um, I'm, I've tried this with the Quest 3. Try this with the Pico. Uh, perhaps it works there uh, as well. I don't know. Yes, it is far from perfect, but if you don't have a 4090 graphics card, this is this might actually be the way to play DCS in VR right now. All right, quick video. I'm going on holiday right now. See you next week. Ciao, ciao.